What's going on in Conceivable Fitness family? We got a doozy for you today. Uh, it's called Honey Badger, and it's gonna be a little bit of a longer workout, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna be doing some custom squats, uh, some Russian twists, some burpees, and then a little bit of running or jump ropes or uh, jumping jacks, depending on your level of preference. So to get things started, I'm gonna start a clock here, and we'll do a little bit of jogging in place for about 30 seconds. And just nice and easy, starting three, two, one. Soft ankles, soft knees. Maybe shake the wrists out a little bit. We're gonna be doing a lot of kind of unilateral stuff with the Cossack squats, so we wanna have all the joints really loose, but also warmed up so that uh, those muscles are ready to stabilize the joints. So after this, in about five seconds, we're gonna go into high knees with a twist. We're gonna to try to warm up the core a little bit for those Russian twists. So we're gonna go into high knees here. And if this isn't intense enough, of course, you can run it out. The big thing here is we're trying to get a flex in the oblique as we pull that knee up to the side here. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna get some reverse lunges to further warm up those legs. Three, two, one. So for reverse lunge, you wanna make sure you get 90 degrees with the front knee, stepping out wide enough that you're stable. So notice my foot's kind of out to the side here. I'm not going straight back because it's really wobbly. You wanna make sure you get a good stable platform. Get that front knee to 90 degrees, tap the ground with the back knee. Press through the whole front foot so that you can utilize the hamstrings and the glute. Three seconds here, we're gonna go to jumping jacks. So nice and easy. If this is too intense, you can of course step out. If your shoulders are hurting or something, you can keep your arms inside. Nice and easy. And then another 10 seconds. What did I write down? We got plank to starfish. That'll be kind of a fun one. So what we're gonna do is come to a plank, and then we're gonna alternate lifting your arms. So it's not quite a starfish, because your feet are both staying on the ground. But basically we're just rotating and raising the arms here. So you can warm up the plank, this time also warming up the shoulders and the rest of the core. Try to keep your glutes down in the middle you don't want to find yourself coming back to like a down dog. Try to keep your body in a straight line from the heels to the knees to the glutes to the shoulders. And then in two seconds we got squats. So good old fashioned squats, feet just outside the hips, knees tracking out and slightly over the toes, chest tall, hitting full depth at the bottom, full extension at the top. And that's a nice quick warm up for the total body. We've got a couple more things to do here. So we're gonna get 10 frog hops. And what those look like is basically the bottom of the burpee, uh, or at least the hopping portion of the burpee from the bottom. So you can get out to a plank and then hop the feet in, release the hands up, and then back out to a plank, hop the feet in. If you wanna scale this, you can step in, release the hands, and step out. Just make sure you're getting 10 of those. I think that's what, four for me, so I'll keep going here. Work on the explosiveness of the hips here. And what we're doing is really kind of exaggerating that pop hit the bottom, kind of like you would in a jump in a power clean. So next, get a bit of a stretch. Try to hold the bottom of your squat here for about 30 seconds. And we want to get as deep as we can, and you can use your elbows to help open up the hips. Those caustic squats are going to bring a lot of depth into this squat, so we want to make sure these hips are nice and open. Whew, it's warm in this garage. Hopefully you guys have AC, or at least you're doing this early in the morning. Either way, thanks for joining us. We're having fun. More sweats, more calories out, but uh, also make sure you're drinking enough so you can stay safe. So, first thing we got is caustic squats, which essentially is, we're gonna take a wide stance, we're gonna squat 
all the way down to one side and then up and over to the other. So this is basically RX where you're going all the way up and all the way down on both sides. If that's too intense for you, you can modify by just doing essentially uh, less depth. So what you see from the side is instead of coming all the way down, what I'm doing is just kind of pushing the hips back for about a quarter squat. And then of course, if you have something that you can sit on, maybe like a medicine ball or something, you can try with your dominant leg forward and just the other leg out for support. And just give yourself a little bit of support, trying to find some depth, but also a little bit of a ease on that single leg so it's not quite as intense as a full move. So go ahead and get 10 of those. So we're gonna practice five each side. Here's one, keeping your chest up, two, And you can keep it a fluid movement as long as you extend the hips all the way to the top. You can lift the heel of the stretched leg. That might give you a little bit better depth. Might help with the range of motion. So those are caustic squats. And then Russian twists, you're gonna find either a kettlebell or a dumbbell or basically something that weighs something. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to this. And we're doing 100 Russian twists Total. So that would be 100 reps would be one, two, three, four. A couple options for this. The most difficult is going to be have your legs up in the air and hold them up the whole time. But to modify, you can put your feet down on the ground. And of course you can go with lighter and lighter weights. No weights at all if you like. Lots of scaling options here. And then of course, also an intensifier is how far back you're leaning. So if you're all the way back here, that's gonna be really intense. But if you wanna sit more straight up, if it's less intense, it might let you do more reps. And burpees, we all love burpees. Hopefully you were practicing those uh, Russian twists with me. Let's get five burpees together. So the point of the burpee before you go is we want to get all the way down to the ground with our chest and then stand up tall with a small jump and a hip extension here. So coming down, a lot of us tend to want to slow ourselves down with our arms, and that's really fatiguing. So the pro tip number one is come down and get down as fast as you can, and then we're gonna use those hips. And you almost notice I kind of prime for bringing my knees off the ground, and then explode those hips and land with your feet as far up as you can so that you're doing minimal movements. So uh, give me five burpees here. If you can't do strict burpees, go ahead and step out for me. Come down to the ground, step up for me. You want to see five of those to get strict burpees. Let's see if you can cycle these here. There we go. Close enough to five. And then the last thing would be either a thousand meter run, which I have no idea what that looks like in your neighborhood. Um, or you can do 250 jumping jacks if you want to stay in place. So again, jumping jacks is going to be at the top, we're touching our hands together with our feet wide, and at the bottom, we're getting hands down to the sides, standing fully uh, at the bottom here. So you get five of these, two, three, four, five. That's that. I'm going to be doing double unders because I haven't done them in a while, and I like them. And it's a similar sort of workout. Works the shoulders, works the core. If you're doing your double unders, make sure you're keeping your arms inside and really flicking the wrist here. That's that. Go ahead and give me a practice round where you're gonna do uh, five each side lunges, five Russian twists each side, five burpees, and then practice a short like 30 second run or maybe 25 jumping jacks. And then come on back, and we're going to do that walk together. Thanks, guys.